In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Boolean operator in 3ds Max. So the first thing that we're going to do is I set up two boxes um, that have two teapots in them. So I'm going to show you how to uh, do a union operation to join the two and how to do a subtraction operation to remove the teapot from the geometry of the box. So what I'm going to do first with the teapot is these are instances. So whatever changes I make to one, it will make to the other. I'm going to go ahead and add the cap holes modifier just to fill in any of the blank geometry. And I'm going to go ahead and right click and convert it to an editable poly um, just so the operation stays. So this first one, I'm going to uh, do a union command. So I'm going to go to my create tab in my command panel, go down to compound objects, and go down to Pro Boolean. Um, you don't want to do the regular Boolean operator. That's pretty much just there for a legacy command. Um, Pro Boolean allows you to do um, more operations. It has more customizable parameters. And Boolean was there when 3ds Max was first created, so more beneficial for opening up older files and um, still being able to, to apply that. So first one here, let's do a union. So I'm going to scroll down under my parameters. I'm going to check union. And I'm going to make sure that my operation down here is also set to union, which it is. So with my box selected, I'm going to go ahead and say start picking. And I'm going to click on my teapot. And you're going to see that my teapot takes on the parameters of my box. So the color, um, and that will always happen when that's the, the second operand that's being selected. I'm going to turn off Start Picking. I'm going to go over here to this box. And I'm going to subtract my teapot from this box. So again, let's go to Compound Objects, to go to Pro Boolean. Um, the default selection is Move, which is what we're going to keep there. We're going to go down here to Subtraction. Make sure you double check your operation down here and have it set to Subtraction. And with my box selected, I'm going to go to Start Picking. I'm going to click on my teapot, and it will be removed from the box. And that is how you do simple Boolean operations. 